and welcome. I am Zyner, and uh, this is going to be me just doing uh, a mission in APB. Um, All Points Bulletins. It's a bulletins. All Points Bulletin. It's a third person shooter for those that don't know. Uh, I'm going to be driving this car, which in game is referred to as a Charge Cisco. It's not the greatest of cars, but I I'm driving it because I can. And uh, this is my character. Now, I'm sure there's going to be people wondering, why are you playing a female character? Personally, I find the male characters pretty bulky, but uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ready up, and I'm going to cut back to the video whenever I get into a mission versus other players. So, I'll be back with you in just a little bit. You, you need to clear it with hey me. guys, okay. we're back. And, uh, as you can see, I'm in an opposed mission. Just got in it based on the, uh, the big APB thing up on there. And I got caught on his back up to these guys. Yes, I'm just driving through the park, hitting whatever. And, uh, let's take a look at what we're fighting. Besides five people, we are fighting a couple of people. This guy's got a uh, SMG, another SMG, another SMG, a sniper rifle, and a, uh, an assault rifle. And, uh, we're gonna flip my car, because this thing's prone to do it. One of the reasons why I don't like it, it's very prone to flipping. My weapon of choice is also an assault rifle. And, uh, I've got some mods in here for the purpose of accuracy. And I got sniped. It was a bit dumb of me to be, uh, trying to take on you know, pretty much their entire team by myself, especially from a distance versus a sniper rifle. But, uh, hopefully. The thing is, whenever the enemy shoot, it applies a triangle on the minimap, which will allow my teammates to see where the enemies are if they were close enough at the time, which is, the, the minimap is a range of 80 meters. Um, I'm not going to go too in-depth about the different weapons and stuff at the moment. I'm, what I'm using right now is a Joker CR5, it's a different type, type of assault rifle. This one's bought off the in-game market, but it's no different than one of the assault rifles you can obtain in-game. So... Uh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. Oh, shit. I am going to swear, but uh, it happens. Oh. This person's trying to uh, consistently no-scope me with the sniper rifle. I'm guessing he was trying to no-scope me because he was scoping at me to hit me. But, uh, there's... I thought about trying to do a let's play of this, but I had gone and was thinking, well, how do you let's play a shooter game? And I was thinking about going into a missions guide thing, but then I ended up going against it and deciding, I'm just going to record me doing some missions, and uh, apparently my car survived. That guy right there is a bounty, but uh, as much as I want to mess with him, there's so many people there. One of which has an anti-vehicle vehicle? The, uh, vehicular weapon. So there's no point in really trying to mess with that. As you can see down there in the corner, it says Bounty Claimed because somebody killed him. And my teammate really should have ran that guy over. Now... Oh! That guy just blew himself up and his teammate with that nade that he used to kill my teammate. Now, one of the mods I have in my gun, if you're wondering why I switched to my pistol, it's, uh, what it does is it gives me greater accuracy when aiming like this, but when firing from the hip, my accuracy is pretty much greatly reduced, especially while moving. So I switched to my pistol because it's a lot better in the uh, closer range scenario. And I could have very easily 
if I don't know if you can hear me over over all the gunfire, but uh, I could have very easily aimed at that distance, but I couldn't really afford the time, especially considering I was getting low like that, and I couldn't really risk missing too many shots. And yeah, I could have been a lot more accurate in general, but th this isn't about criticizing me. This is about more or less showing off APB and trying to fight while talking. Which, uh, it's not easy, to say the least. Now, if you're wondering why I used the gun there, I was in such a point-blank position that it'd be really hard to miss. I might have just shot my teammate. Now, if you haven't guessed yet, based on the little bar up there and the three points, this is essentially like a domination. It's the uh, final stage of this mission. And uh, the thing is, is, you have to be, you know, the team with the highest points when the timer runs out. However, if the enemy team, or I should say the team with the lowest number of points, manages to take two points in uh, when the clock runs out, if they're behind, it'll go into overtime. Now, what that'll do is, if they manage to hold those points, which, yes, talking kind of got me a little distracted there, if they manage to hold those points until they pass us up, they can win the, it still. It's actually a kind of annoying feature, but I understand why it was put in, and I actually like it. I've won quite a few missions because of that. Especially ones where you get screwed over because you come in late in the game, essentially. But, uh... There's not really I can, a whole lot you can do to let's play a shooter game like this. But, uh, I figured, you know, record me doing some missions. Oh, I see you. These guys aren't terribly great that we're fighting, but uh, I'm actually recording this at about 6.30 in the morning Eastern Time, and I'm on the Eastern servers. So, what's happening is the population is pretty crap at the moment. So, I've been forced to go to a district with a lower average skill level. And, uh, looks like we're probably gonna lose this mission. Well, no. If that point is neutral and we own one when it ends, we win. Like so. But, uh, that's gonna be this, uh, the mission for today. And, uh, I'll think about, I'll see what I can do about getting a mission up every single day. And, uh, hopefully I won't have to go into quite as much explanation for future videos. But, uh... If there's anything you want to know about specific guns, like if you want to sh have all the different guns shown off to you and whatnot, and have a pretty, you know, detailed description about them, just let me know, and I'll, I'll make a video that shows off a lot of the weapons. Um, I'll see what I can do about some of the pay weapons, but a lot of them are just uh, three-slot versions of guns in the game. So, there's more specific ones, like... You know, there's different guns that perform differently than their standard counterparts. So, but that, that'll be something for a different topic should that be requested. But as it currently stands, I'm going to leave you guys with this mission. And I may, um, in, I'm just, that mission was kind of short, so I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail of what I have planned for this entire series. Um... First things first, my commentary is going to get a lot less for when I'm being focused, um, mostly because of the fact that I do pay attention to a lot of the game sounds, people climbing fences, running into barrels, cars driving up, watching the mini-map and whatnot, and it's not something I can really constantly talk through without pretty large degradation of skill, which, not that I have a whole ton to begin with, but... I don't mean to say this braggingly, I, I do have a 
skill level higher than a lot of the people that do play the game, but to be honest, that's not saying much. So, if you're somebody that plays APB and you're not doing too great and you're watching my videos, you know, to try and get some tips, cool. If you want some tips, ask for them in the comments. I'll uh, do my best to respond to what information I can provide, and do not take any insult, insult, anything I say as uh, towards lesser skilled people as an insult, I just mean it as such. They're lesser skilled, you know, they don't know as much about the map, about the game, and I am completely willing to help, you know, in any way that, about people, you know, what people want to know about the game. I know a lot of the maps, I know quite a few strategies and this and that and things to watch out for, so just, just keep in mind, you know, if there's ever anything in one of my videos that uh, you have a question about, just feel free to ask and I will do my best to respond as quick as possible. I do quite frequently, as in uh, probably at least five times a day just at my current subscriber amount. I'm sure that if I had more viewers, more commenters, I would check more often. Um, so. I will reply to comments, like, obviously I'm not going to reply to all of them, not everything's going to be uh, deserving of comment, but uh, no offense, people have undeserving comments, just some things don't require it. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this turns out good, and uh, hopefully you guys like these videos. I will, if you guys want to see me die more, and you want to hear me, you know, just explain random things while I'm playing, then uh, by all means, tell me. But, uh, you know, please rate the video. I I do like to use the rating system as a determination for how... determination. As a tool for determining how much people enjoy the videos, and please, if you want to see something different, let me know. Which comes back to the comments. So, anything, everything, that you want to know or want to suggest or whatever, leave it in the comments, but, uh, you know, rate my videos, let me know what you think of them, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will be watching me more in the future. I will be, for people who are loyal watchers of my Minecraft stuff, that will continue. These videos don't take very long, they won't require much editing, in theory, so, uh, yeah. As it currently stands, just, uh... You know what? One thing I'm gonna work for is an opener. And I have a really good idea. And, uh, hopefully that'll be on this episode when I upload it. And, uh, I'll try to keep... All of this after-mission commentary out, unless people actually want it. I'm fine on longer episodes, too, just so you guys know. So... I, I'm not concerned about constraining everything I say to a 15 minute period. I'll upload what is necessary. And, uh, yeah. See you guys again in the, uh, next episode.